guys, our next order is for our good friend BK. We have three graded notes here. We have box 26, box 18, and box 14. We're gonna start with we're gonna start with uh, box number 14 here. Start with box number 14. Run it. Let's do it. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. That's because I was of the firm belief that if it didn't get done at school, it didn't get done at home. I, I was not a homework guy. Was not a homework guy. If I didn't finish it at school, then it wasn't getting done until I went back to school. <laughs> Homework is for the birds. <laughs> All right. About uncirculated, we have a, 50, a graded 55 silver certificate from 1935. This dollar's old. 1935. This thing has seen a world war. Thing saw the depression probably no wonder why it's uncirculated <laughs> went through the depression nobody nobody could use it <laughs> nobody got it got the silver certificate markup on top there that's pretty cool uh centering is atrocious for a almost hundred year old dollar bill here the centering is really bad <laughs> uh really nice really nice bill overall uh not a lot of doesn't really look like there's a lot of like marks or anything on it. So yeah, about uncirculated. Probably was in circulation for a couple years, and then just got put into somebody's vault. You know, during the Great Depression. <laughs> All right, not a bad one. Good start. Series six. This is uh, number eighteen out of fifty. I'm gonna do this as well. Uh, we'll start coin flip. We'll start coin flip now. Do uh, do it for a half hour. Well, guys, thirty-two followers away from two K. Nerd out's almost at three hundred. Moving. Who's gonna go? Who's gonna make it first? Also, guys, there's still five founders badges uh, up for up for grabs over in Nerd Out. Eighteen of fifty. Here we go. Oh come on! All right, this one is a graded sixty-six. Okay. Gem uncirculated, so it's in very good condition. Looks like it's a five dollar bill. Nineteen ninety nine, San Francisco. The black block with Rose Summers. Alright. Looks very good. It's like a small I don't even know what that is. There's like a small something here on the run along the side. No, not that old. 99. Where's the... Yep, there's Series 99 right there. The uh, the ink is kind of like bleeding through a little bit. It's kind of cool. Ink is bleeding through a little bit. Okay. Good grade. For a 25-year-old bill. Putting it into perspective compared to our last one, not that old at all. Considering the last one was from 35. Well, it's four years older than my grandpa, who just turned 85. All right, and our last one here. This is number 26 of 50. Rated 65, gem uncirculated. A $2 bill, let's go! 1976, Federal Reserve, $2 bill. I have a collection of these somewhere in my house, so that I know. 
Exceptional paper quality. Nice, a two dollar bill. Yeah, super fun one. I've got yeah, I've got a few of these laying around as a collection. Uh, my grandpa for years he would give us one in our Christmas cards. Oh a two dollar bill. Yeah, a two dollar nice. bill. So I've got like a collection of them because you know you don't spend that. They don't make those no more. Yeah. So yeah, I wouldn't spend them. Now I've got probably like five hundred dollars worth of. Well, Which are probably even worth more than that. Yeah, he's been doing it since. I mean, obviously since I was a kid. It's been every year, so I'm about to be thirty. Oh, so snap. like six hundred dollars worth of two dollar bills, or sixty dollars worth of two dollar bills. Plus other ones that I've just accumulated. I have, a, I have a fun collection when it comes to dollar bills. I collect the, uh, you know, the ones that have like the stamp of Where's George on it. Yes. Yeah, yes. I've got a collection of those ones. No. Thanks for the order, BK. Nice. Super fun. Yeah, I've got. Oh god, I've got so many of those. 